in a first-of-its-kind survey, a team of scientists from more than a dozen U.S. and Canadian institutions set out across the Great Lakes this month. They traveled on snowmobiles, ATVs, and airboats, all to collect valuable data. Storm Team 8 meteorologist Emily Skydema talked with them about why this is so critical. If you start getting some, we got to mark a, a spot. The excursion is called the Winter Grab. This is a collaborative effort to um, get some observations on wintertime conditions out on the Great Lakes. During the summer months, buoys and research vessels provide a steady stream of data to scientists. But in the winter, they go dark. This is an area where um, there hasn't been a lot of um, sampling in the past due to the logistics of getting out when it's cold and on ice that may or may not be stable. The difficulty of collecting data in the winter has led to a big gap in knowledge about what's happening below the ice. The longer term goal is to start connecting those wintertime conditions with what happens during the summertime. These are not um, independent. The lake doesn't go dormant. It doesn't go quiet during the wintertime. It's just that we, we're not out there sampling this one. Understanding how winter conditions connect to summer hazards like elbow blooms is just one goal of the winter grab. They're also hoping to gain knowledge on nutrient concentrations, lake biology, and how ice extent is changing in a warming climate. And after boring the first hole, we make measurements of how thick the ice is and then also how much light penetrates through the ice, which is important for phytoplankton and algae that are doing photosynthesis under the ice. Instruments were deployed into the water to measure temperature, oxygen, and light, which are all key variables in understanding the ecosystem. They also dredged the bottom of the lake to learn what invasive coaga mussels are up to in the winter. The collected samples will be analyzed locally or shipped to partners across the region for analysis. I'm really stunned by how collaborative um, this, this event is. It, it really exceeded our expectations in terms of interest and that all of these groups are taking you know, their time to go out and collect these samples. Um, that makes the whole effort a lot more valuable. And that's meteorologist Emily Skydema reporting. Casey Godwin and his team successfully bored through 19 inches of ice on Saginaw Bay last week to wrap up this project. We'll, of course, be watching to see what they learned.